window here for extra light to come in. It's natural light. You can also open it up for ventilation. Uh, it's a uh, high efficiency dual pane glass uh, window here. This is a commercial steel uh, door that's insulated. High security entrance door lever with the deadbolt. And safety glass on the... Uh... That's correct. It's got safety wire inside the glass. Side. And an outdoor light here, right? An LED light? That's a standard feature that eliminates the front, also indicates that the clinic is functioning at night. A little security feature. These things over here, this is the connection for the power coming in and power coming from the sun to go to the, to the units out here. We've got an inlet for the power. You can also, if you would like, if you wanted to, if you wanted to hook a generator up to this, you could alternately unplug this and plug in a generator if you want to do that temporarily. This is where the lines come in from the air conditioner. And we also have an added feature here that's a monitoring uh, device for the solar. So if you wanted to remotely monitor wirelessly what's happening with the solar, what's you're being harvest, what's being harvested from the sun, the voltage of the batteries, uh, how things are performing. That unit allows for remote uh, monitoring of that. So if, okay. if on a tablet or a laptop or a phone, if you desire to see what's happening with that solar, uh, you can do that with that device right there. Come on in. So let's see what features should we talk about here. Well, let's start with the what looks like a uh, uh, skylight. Is not a skylight. No, it's actually the electrical uh, lights, right? An LED light there. Uh, it's a two foot by two foot light. I think these two together use about uh, 80 watts of power. So, uh, and they efficiently light up this whole this whole room. And we did want to keep those low profile for a few reasons. Keep the ceiling height uh, high enough and make it feel roomy instead of having a fixture hanging down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also a little bit easier to clean. Uh, with our, whatever exam light might be in here, like this one, gives a lot more clearance up here so the light doesn't uh, hit this light. So. Mm -hmm. uh, uses a little bit of power, low profile, emits a lot of light. Mm -hmm. That's why we chose those styles of lights. Let's look at the floor. Look at the ceiling. Let's look at the floor and talk about the floor a little bit. So this uh, this flooring is a is a product that's used in all our uh, OR and surgery suites in the states. And this is what they call a seamless vinyl, and this is uh, coved up the wall here. You see this nice smooth cove comes up four inches and is welded, heat welded at these seams. Uh, this allows for cleanability, so you can mop, wet mop these floors, keep all the bacteria out, there's no seams that can hold dirt or bacteria. Mm -hmm. And so this is very common in the States in surgical suites. And so a lot of times these, uh, these units are used for a wide variety of uh, purposes, whether it be a small procedure or even uh, surgical. Uh, units. We had one in the Philippines that I think they delivered 45 babies in a month, and so they used it as a birthing suite. Mm -hmm. So they were, it was easily clean up, uh, easy clean up because of this type of flooring. Uh, it's it's about a three millimeters, four millimeters thick, eighth inch thick, uh, solid color all the way through and through. So if it does get scratched, uh, it doesn't reveal any. Uh, yeah. Part of the floor that can go bad with water, so it's, it's a very right. thick, durable floor. Right. Okay, now we got to talk about the walls because that's all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is a very washable surface here. It's a, a pre laminated product that we purchased that uh, at the factory. These two surfaces have been bonded. This, this it's, it's similar to the floor in that this color goes all the way through on this surface material. It's laminated to a product that's called OSB that we've treated with a antifungal and termite product. Mm -hmm. So any wood boring insect would not uh, consume this material. Or mold, here. mold or fungus. That's correct. And that's all behind this surface here. So moisture wouldn't be able to get mm -hmm. to that product back in there. So it's a very stable mm -hmm. product. It's very durable. Um, interior behind this, we've got steel studs. It's all commercial type construction. 
All the wiring is commercial type wiring. Um, and then there's a blown in polyurethane foam insulation that glues all the construction materials together behind. And at that point it's cut off flush with the framing material. Then we apply this finished material to the outside. So it's uh, very well insulated and stable. So for shipping purposes, nothing inside here can rattle or get cut or degrade inside those walls. And so it's also a nice um, insulator for sound. So I don't know if you hear the trucks outside earlier. Now when we start hearing trucks go by, you will barely hear those because the, the sound is reduced a lot from the inside to the outside. I think it's a 30 decibel reduction. And of course, that all that, the floor, the ceiling, the walls, above and beyond the fact that the basic steel container is totally seal welded completely around. That's correct. I mean, uh, and it's gasketed on the outside doors even. That's right. So uh, there may be even a rating for how long this thing would float. Yeah, I'm not sure what that that is. The floors aren't waterproof as far as if you floated it. Oh, I mean, the, the, the container you start with. Sure. You know, sure. I mean... Uh, <laughs> So it's, uh, you really don't have to worry about leaks in the ceiling or the roof or anything like that. That's correct. Because these are rated the for this thing from your mind. Yeah. being on a ship out with the salt spray and the waves hitting this thing. Right. Yeah, so that's when it's, in, when it's closed, the cargo doors are closed. And that's what this is rated for. And these are near new containers. They've been used once. And we've pulled them out of the system right. because we want everything to be in good shape and not have to deal with any welds mm -hmm. or maintenance issues, knocking out any big dents, mm -hmm. that could be issues in the long run. So yeah, it's near factory new, all those welds and everything. And so we've, the paint job from the factory is pretty new. It's a, an epoxy coating on the outside. We take that and we add another coat of epoxy white. Mm -hmm. So we've added another layer of protection and then that white mm -hmm. will actually reflect the sun a lot better. And so instead of coloring it up, a blue or a darker color that absorbs a lot of heat, we've combated that naturally just by going with a, a light or a white color. And so the durability goes up with us adding another coat of epoxy paint on the outside. Yeah. So basic to every unit is a, a work surface in the back, a sink on the right, uh, some storage drawers below, and storage cabinets above here. And uh, these are all uh, Midmark products, is that correct? Midmark company, that's correct. They've been a uh, family-owned business and running for 100 years. And so we're partners with them there. Uh, we know them personally. Uh, great product support, uh, customer service. If we've ever had any issues with damage because of uh, something uh, hitting it from shipping or, or uh, even from abuse at times, we've had issues with maybe a hinge. They, uh, we'll let them know, and they've replaced with no, uh, no charge mm -hmm. some of these parts. And so they're very durable, all steel, powder coated. Uh, adjustable, case adjustable shelves, right? That's correct. And so uh, nothing that can go bad or wrong. And these very little uh, mechanical part that can go bad. Very simple construction, but very durable as well. These are about, what, 11 inches deep? I think these are 13 inches deep on the inside, 14 overall. Okay, all right. And the whole uh, container is about eight, eight feet on the inside? Or seven foot on the inside. Seven foot on the inside. So uh, this is the sur surface area. we got the store above as well, of course, here, here. Over here you've got just more of the same, I guess, right? Yes, uh, no. lockable, okay. lockable doors. Uh, and then uh, drawers here, standard. Uh, yep. It's like 18-inch uh, deep drawers, maybe. So all these drawers are one piece uh, drawers so that way you can wash them out, wipe them out very easily mm -hmm. versus having joinery and wood that uh, yep. uh, dirt can collect in the corners. So you an engineer to be very, very durable and lightweight. Uh, all medical grade cabinetry. Uh, and we got what, under the sink here? This is a trash. So you yeah, have a little trash compartment, you can have a can, trash can in here, quick access to that trash can. Also have a, uh, a triple filter underneath here for if you desire to have uh, purified water, that option is right here. So instead of always filtering 
Um, this main faucet here, this is primarily for washing hands and washing things out and access purified water through that. So that arrangement is the part of the premium package? The gooseneck here and, and, and this unit? This is standard, I believe. This, oh, is, this standard? this is part of the premium and extra okay. water filtration. Okay. okay, all right. And we see a uh, uh, autoclave here, uh, just sitting here. That's something that would be an option. And down here, uh, we just happen to see a refrigerator for uh, maintaining uh, temperature critical vaccines, antibiotics, whatever. This right here is for the remote for the air conditioner and the heater. So this uh, this is where you would change your temperatures, turn on and off, go from different modes from uh, heating, cooling. Um, dehumidification, uh, fan only, so it's got all those options to the, the remote here. And then this cabinet over here is for, for gloves, Kyle? Yeah, it's a, a glove box or glove dispenser. You can have two, uh, several, a couple different sizes of gloves to dispense. There's also a cup dispenser and then towels here, so that's kind of that uh, unit that does all three out of here. And that's typically that's a standard feature. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've this noticed with these outlets. Crazy outlet, man! Look at that. It looks kind of funny. This is kind of a universal um, setup to where there's all different kinds of configurations for your plug-in. So if you in the states, we typically have these two little blades in the ground here, but in different parts of the world, there's different configurations of plugs. So this accommodates all those different plugs. Uh, so. We don't have to change that outlet out. It's not specific for any one country, so it's a universal plug. So those plugs can be made either good for uh, one uh, one ten or two twenty. That's correct. We can configure it either way. So that's a matter of outside flipping switches in the electrical area. That's there? correct. Uh, also, could be configured within the breaker panel here. Over here is the main breaker panel. It has the circuitry for uh, um, ground fault interrupters and the main power coming in, and so if there's an overload, it, mm -hmm. it pops the breaker, you can come over and reset it, so it's quickly accessible in, within the room here. You don't have to go outside oh, and check to see if uh, one of the circuits have, have overloaded. Mm -hmm. So it's right here. All right. Yeah, and standard then. with a smoke alarm, um, a fire suppressor. Extinguisher. Oh, extinguisher. Extinguisher here. Yeah, that's right. And this uh, is a uh, uh, examination table, mid-mark examination table. That's correct. It's a multi-featured exam table for different uh, operations. The stirrups here. Mm. Storage drawers. Little step-ups. More on the side here. So for all types of examinations. So this is electrically adjustable or actually it's uh, all manual. 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 Yeah. Okay. Well, I see a cord coming out. What's the cord? Yeah, this cord uh, primarily that's just an extension to the table. So this can plug into the wall. Okay. And then um, on board there's outlet. I oh, see, so you have outlets in case you want to plug in a yeah. small piece of equipment. Okay. So if you've got another exam light or a right. Right. Uh, piece of equipment near there, we, right. we normally have plenty of outlets near the exam table. Mm -hmm. uh, but a good feature is that it is manual. Uh, there's no motors to go bad on this. So right. all of it's just very simple mechanical features. Right. And, uh, oh, these here? Yeah. Exactly. These are for so the solar panel. Oh, that's correct. Um, for storage, when we're shipping this from the factory to the site, the panels can be tied back to the wall here, keeping them secure. So during uh, shipping, also, it's a similar situation over here. This exam table ties to the wall. So everything's been secured to the wall, so when all those bumps and vibrations that happen over the road, everything's secured. Mm -hmm keeping it from damage. So things aren't just scooting around and uh, sliding around on the floor. Protects the floor, protects the walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, typical to all the doctor's offices I've been in, we've got uh, what, blood pressure, uh, 
capability here and uh, temperature capability and uh, what's going on in these two? This is uh, well, not being medical, I can't speak too much. Uh, uh, otoscope, ophthalmoscope, one of these would be looking for an into your eye, okay. and one is for looking into the ears. I see. These are the, I think they call these the cannulas, the, uh, the tips that go on to the, the speculum that you put in your ear. Okay. You probably have seen your doctor do that. You stick right. it in your ear and they pop it off. Throw it away. away. All right. All right. Yeah. This is a manual blood pressure cuff. Okay, and then it's uh, uh, bag hanging uh, capability right. there. For IV bags. IV bags. Can hang right here. Mm -hmm. Being close to the table if that's necessary to have an IV in the patient. Okay. Uh, articulating arm exam light, also LED, that can be utilized, multi position. And then it stows away for shipping. We also stow this up here, it gets tied to this here. And it's not swinging around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Kyle, that's a pretty thorough uh, uh, description of what's going on here. I can't think of anything else to add at this point. We may see more as we go inside and look at some of these things under construction. Well, we will. And I really enjoyed uh, having a part in, um, and before these previous five years that I've been employed here, I've uh, been on several mission trips and volunteered with different groups and I've seen a lot of things over and across the world down in South America, Philippines, different areas and I've enjoyed seeing how other cultures work and mm -hmm. taking those uh, experiences and uh, bringing them here and taking them to the design stages and understanding how other people function and uh, trying to simplify but also make it uh, nice enough to, using, to function in different parts of the world. Yeah, using so, the, the gifts God gave you. That's correct. So it's been a joy to do that. Very good. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. You're welcome.